this whole year since I started waxing. I have not shaped my girl. I have not. And I'm proud of that. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're my subscriber. If you're new here, please subscribe. A year ago, I decided to start waxing my best friend over here. I think the reason I wanted to do it was mainly for a YouTube video. Just for the video, I didn't really want to exactly. It's not something that I wanted to wanted to. I just wanted to get the content out there. But um, I didn't hate it. So I was like, okay, why not keep doing it? The girl there, I told her it was my first time. And yeah, she was really helpful. She was telling me, oh, you should keep coming. Your hair will grow less, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's got benefits. Okay, I guess I'll keep coming. So since I'm not like a pro at this, no. <laughs> since I've been doing it for a while, I thought maybe you guys want to see an update, my experiences that I've gone through, any tips or anything just throughout the year that I've been doing it since I started. So I thought, let me come and share that. So I came back from my wax appointment already. I am clean, sleek <laughs> right now. But um, right now I'm gonna play the clip of me going to that and then we can keep talking after. If you haven't done so already, like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Oh gosh, so I'm super late. Um, here we are, hopping into the vehicle. Anyways, I'm on the way. I'm going to record when I get there. I'm not going to record a lot of sound because my last video got copyrighted. So that's tragic. But I will record myself in paint again because, because that's what you want to see. You just want to see if I'm still in paint after a year of doing this. That's what you want to see. So we're going to record that. After I get that, then we'll get into the tips, the everything all the juices and everything you need to know about waxing that i've been waxing for a year so let's go this is me walking into real body wax this is the only place i've ever gotten waxed um i started here a year ago i've gone here for a year so everything i say is pertaining to this place i'm not sure if other places do it anything different but this is the place i go to and i highly recommend i love their website it's all really easy to book and everything and there's so many locations so i'm sure there's one near you so yeah, after you check in, they'll show you to your room. You just get undressed and wait for your esthetician. Um, I love the signs that they have. It's all very helpful. It's like a bunch of information you can read about waxing and which ones work for you and benefits and all that good stuff. So now we're starting the wax. Sorry, there's no sound. I didn't want to get copyrighted with the music, but I didn't really make any noise. And neither did the lady, except for the one thing she said when we first started. I'm not sure what she meant, but she said it's good. I think she meant like the hairs came out really easy or something. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's the only thing she said. Other than that, this is just me in pain. They just keep pulling strips. I'm not making any noise, so I'm just making faces. So. And um, I don't think I'll get copyrighted for that, so I'll let you hear that and hear some strips pulling. But again, I'm still not making noise. That thumbs up there was meaning the worst part is over. They took off all the major hairs. So now she's mainly just plucking and extracting, which is also very painful and irritating. Um, I think that's worse than the strips of sometimes. She's just like plucking, plucking little hairs and it's really irritating. But um, yeah, the worst part is over. Uh, this change of angle now is my um, Brazilian, <laughs> the back part. So it's where you lift your legs up in like a missionary fold <laughs> position um and they just get the back area you know i don't find this part painful painful i just find it really uncomfortable like i feel like there's more just pressure in a way but it's not painful painful uh, it's just uncomfortable that's it okay, okay. thank you my hair's drying and i'm in a little pain the end i think a cop saw me don't record 
record and drive okay so as you can see um i wasn't in a lot of pain like the first time i actually like not screamed i wouldn't say screamed but i kind of screamed i howled i moaned no i didn't moan <laughs> i grunted in a way i'm not sure how to explain the noise you heard it um if you didn't go watch that video that's hilarious uh but um it could be that my tolerance got higher towards to the pain but um it could also be that you know the more often you do it you know the the thinner your hair the less hair the less pain that too it's i think it's a mixture of both so now i don't really make noise i just make faces like mm, like i'm in pain but like i don't really make a noise maybe once in a blue moon maybe like a certain way the hair pulls i might do like a little mm. but uh like this last one like you saw i didn't make any noise and i'm sorry you couldn't hear like everything yeah i didn't see any point leaving the sound on i didn't make any sound it was literally just it's so quiet and that's what i love about like this girl that I do it, she's just so quiet. I like to be quiet, we just quiet. I don't wanna talk. We don't gotta make little side chit chat while you're waxing my JJ. We don't need it, we don't need it. But yeah, so the pain was better. Like I can handle it better. I just, of course it hurts. It's like, I think it's never not going to hurt. They're pulling hairs out of a sensitive area. It's gonna hurt, period. But the tolerance, the way you handle it, that does get better tip one not tip but let's just get to the like not tip one because i don't know how many tips i have and i'm gonna forget to count them let's just get to the tips of it all so i guess my first tip or advice would be to uh shower before you go why shower because it's just it's just i guess you could say classy it's just hygienic like you don't want to go there you definitely don't want to go after working out don't do that you don't want to go after using the toilet that's not right. That's not right. Okay. And you know what toilet I'm talking about? Not the one, but the two. Like, that's just not okay. So, I mean, overall, I just shower. Like, even without those circumstances, it's like, let's be fresh. Let's go presentable. Imagine if that was your job and someone comes not clean. That's really disturbing. And it's embarrassing. Don't do it. Just shower. <laughs> Don't exfoliate the day of, like, the, the if you're going to shower before, don't exfoliate right there and do it. I think it's more sensitive that way. Um, it's just not, it's too much for your little girl to handle. So make sure you exfoliate the night before, the day before, and then you shower right before you go, the day of. Next, we get ready. So when I were to go, let's show you my fit. I took a, a clip of myself at the place, so this is my fit. So I just wear basic shirt. Shorts, easy to take off shorts. So these are just like some loose sweat shorts, right? And then nothing under. <laughs> no, let me explain myself. If I'm going to my appointment and then back home, I will not wear any underwear. I don't like saying the word. <laughs> but um, if I'm going to go somewhere after, I will have underwear on because because I don't want to be like that everywhere. But like under here, I have nothing on because... I went to my appointment, came back home. I didn't see a point of putting an underwear on if I'm just going to take it right off. So yeah, I wear these shorts because they're just easy to take on and off. You're going to literally get out of your clothes, right? So I wouldn't wear jeans because it's like, <laughs> squeeze back into them. It's just, it's just more uncomfortable. There's no reason to do that. I wear a shirt that covers my belly because I don't like to show my belly because I got a mom tummy. So I just, something nice and tight that covers it nice for my, for me. Sometimes I do my underarms as well. So when I do that, I wear a sports bra because I mean, you have to take your shirt off. You got to be like, but when I don't, like today I didn't, I just wear a regular bra, regular shirt. For shoes, as I said earlier, I just wear socks and sandals. Sometimes I just wear like the open flip flops, but um, I wouldn't wear shoes that you had to tie really hard. To take. I wore my blazers one time and they're so hard to put on and off. I was, I was like, why? Why did I wear these? But um, sandals slides those are the best i like to wear slides with socks because when i take off my whole undergarments like my feet around and i just feel like super nude and it's just a little uncomfortable my advice would be to wear socks i just feel like you're less nude in that way that's just me sometimes when i'm just like feeling that day that i don't want to be in pain maybe it's like a day of your period and yes you can go with your period you just have to tell them make sure they're okay with it put a tampon in Make sure it's not like the first day. Don't be that girl. But like, <laughs> um, you can. Um, I don't think I have done. I think I did it once. 
but I didn't have the string and it was like my last day and I was like I'm not sure I can't remember if I have I rather just not but you can't you just got to check with your um the place you go to but yeah so a day like that's like I don't want to be in so much pain I'm not feeling it take some ibuprofen I have done it before I take like two tablets of ibuprofen before I go and I think it does kind of help a little bit. You gotta do it like 30 minutes before, maybe an hour. That's my tip for the pain. But other than that, I mean. So when I did it the first time, it was hot wax. It was just plain, original hot wax. It's in a little cup. They got a little cheap cup and psh, hot ass wax. Psh, they take it off like that. But with the wax sugaring, there's two types that I've done. I've done like the ball. It's like a sugaring ball that just, they kind of like just get the hairs in there and then psh. It just pulls it each time they just rub this ball with the hair and just pull it out like that i don't know and the other one is sugaring with hot wax like it's the same thing as the hot wax but it's just like a thicker substance they put a strip on it psh, like that i prefer the hot wax one i just feel like it hurts less somehow for me but i've heard others like the ball more that it's quicker I feel like it's more painful. Yes, it might be quicker, but I feel like it's more painful. So I do not like the ball. But um, lots of people do like that one. But in my opinion, you should go for the hot wax sugaring. But if you don't like heat, you don't like the hot wax one, the ball. Either way, sugaring. Do the sugaring. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really have any more tips or advice. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple process that you get used to after a year. There are some things you get used to, and there's just some things you don't, I think. You get used to the pain. Um, I think you get used to the aftercare, like like the, um, you don't really mess with it too much. You wear loose clothing after, because um, it might be a little sensitive. You get used to, sort of-ish, um, it growing back and it being a little long sometimes, like, because you have to keep wax. You do not want to shave. This whole year, since I started waxing, I have not shaped my girl. I have not. And I'm proud of that. And I feel like I kind of am scared. One time I think I wanted to. I was like, I have to. I just, real quick, just a little bit or something. But I think I was scared. It's like, I just remember how sharp sometimes it would be. And it would be like pulling sometimes. It kind of hurt sometimes. Um, and I was just scared after a long time of not, it would hurt or something. Or cut me. I don't know what I was thinking. I've done my armpits. Um... Those are quick. That's why I didn't do them because every now and then I will um, shave them if I don't wax them because they grow longer or faster. Not longer, but they just grow out faster. And then I'm always in tank tops. It's summer. So I got to I gotta shave these. But I have not shaved my girl. That's something else I would recommend you not do. Do not shave. They're going to ruin the process. The hairs do grow back slower. They grow back thinner. And um, eventually, like they said, they could stop growing over time. That's each, I do grow so that hasn't worked out for me but i've only been a year i'm pretty sure someone who has done it for like five years they probably don't get much hair trust the process don't shave you're gonna do this and do it right that's why i'm doing it do it right but i think stuff you don't get used to is like being nude in front of someone i guess like each time i feel uncomfortable like i want to cover up i just want to cover up and i'm like this girl's touching me there because sometimes they just like after they rub oil sometimes they're just like mm, they're just in there you know they're like mm. i'm like hey i don't think you will ever get comfortable with that i mean if you're already comfortable with that then yeah but like let's say you start off like i'm not comfortable then i'm pretty sure that's never gonna go away i mean you get used to it and you're like okay whatever but it's still when you're there you're just like mm -hmm. it's still gonna linger there that feeling's gonna linger I don't, I'm like shy showing my belly because I got mom tummy. So um, that's never going to go away. I don't think I'm ever not going to be shy. My stretch marks and showing. I just, but yeah, guys, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I didn't want to make this a full whole thing video. I just want to do a little update in case you guys have any questions. Um, comment down below. I will reply to everybody. Uh, I don't have really any questions to answer right now because no one has really asked much questions so i'm sorry i can't answer the questions you have in your mind right now but if you comment down below i will answer them i promise i will reply to all the questions that need answering other than that i hope you like this video i hope i helped in any way 
um it was mainly just a little update video a little getting back to youtube because i've been gone for a while so just wanted to get something out there and say hi to my new followers say hi to everyone who watched the other video there was i know there were so many people who got to my channel because of that so i appreciate you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one